Doctors use echocardiograms like this one to help identify functional and structural abnormalities of the heart. These scans are most commonly ordered to assess left ventricular dysfunction to rule out the heart as a thromboembolic source and to characterize heart murmurs. While echoes like this are the industry standard, it is a lengthy procedure involving numerous manual measurements and requires significant echocardiography skills. Furthermore, interpreting a 2D representation of a 3D object is an indirect approach and hence many different methods have to be used and combined to come up with reliable approximations of the parameters of interest, such as the wall thickness of the left ventricle or the ejection fraction of the heart, a measure of the heart's pumping ability. This echo shows the left ventricle of the human heart pumping oxygenated blood throughout the body. You can see at the top where the mitral valve in the left ventricle is opening and closing. Now, using Clara, I've added an AI-generated 3D volume of the left ventricle. The Clara code that generated this volume is containerized so that it can run on workstations, on-premise data centers, and even in the cloud using NGC. This volume was created using a convolutional neural network AI that learned to predict the endocardial board of the left ventricle frame by frame from voxels to simulate a 3D beating heart. Then, it automatically calculates the ejection fraction of the heart. Unlike other echocardiographic methods, 3D methods of EF calculation make minimal assumptions of the left ventricular cavity shape. These 3D methods have been shown to be less variable and more accurate than other echocardiographic methods because the entire left ventricular cavity will be detected. Of course, the acoustic window needs to be of sufficient quality to allow the delineation of the entire left ventricular cavity endocardial border. As you can see, this visualization transforms echocardiography images from a grainy 2D picture into easily interpretable 3D images, adding literally another dimension that doctors can see when viewing echocardiograms and making interpretations more intuitive.